All right, Smartest. So today we're going to work on our clay slab boxes getting started. So today you'll need your templates, your paper templates for your boxes. And you're also going to need um, to get set up. So we'll need a clay mat. We'll need our clay tools out, water buckets. We'll have helpers do that job um, once we get everything ready here. Now you'll also need your slabs of clay. So a slab is a flat piece of clay like this. Now clay has a memory. So when I get my slab, I'm gonna hold it flat, kind of like a pizza. And we are, are going to be careful with it. I'm not gonna play around with it or anything like that because then it can, it has a memory. So then it could warp or do weird things or crack later on. So first off, if you your clay has any things in it that you don't want, I can smooth it out. Okay, I also have one of our bean tools, these blue bean tools. So I just dip my tool in the water a little bit to help smooth it out. I'm just smoothing out the edges. I can also use a sponge with hardly any water in it as well. Now, remember too much water in your clay will disintegrate. It will start falling apart because it has too much water in it. So I'm just going like that, smoothing out my slab your slab might not have that on there, but if it does, you can smooth it out. Okay, and then I'll flip it over. Got these very nice um, clay mats from Blick. They seem to work well for hand building, which is what we're doing right now. There we go. Now the next thing we're going to do is start cutting out my slabs with my paper. So we made our paper, paper templates to make life easier. Now, if this is what I have, there, I'm not putting this in the middle. I'm wasting so much clay there. Come on, people. So I'm gonna put this on the side because I have a triangle box. I need a top and a base, and I need three walls, okay? So I'm just gonna first kind of mark off where I want the walls to go. Now, I started with a simpler shape because I want to be a little more complex on my, my design. So we'll have like one full art week in class to finish these. And so I want to make sure my goal is attainable, but I really wanted to spend more time on the details and the carvings and the um, sculptural part. And so I went with a simpler shape. Okay, so now I've got my, kind of rolling up my extra clay to use for later. I've got my first one down here, All right? I'm using our clay pencil there. You can also use one of our clay tools like that. There's my first slab. I'm gonna clean it up in a minute here. I'm gonna set it off to the side for now, nice and flat. Let's get another one out of this here. I might not get all three, but I'll get close-ish. And I can use the extra clay for different details or helping me with my scoring and slipping as well. Okay. I'm not worried if I have a little extra because I can always cut it off. The thing I don't want is not enough of like the you know how long it is. Okay, there we go. There's the second one. And now I'm gonna, that obviously isn't gonna fit that. So now I'm gonna roll, roll, roll. And roll, roll, roll up this extra clay off to the side in a few spheres to keep it from drying out. So rolling it up in a sphere like that can help. Okay, and add another one. Roll, 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 roll. Put those off to the side for later. And now I can grab this and I can get a few more slabs out of it. All right, so if I need to, I'm just gonna dip that in the water and smooth this out. All right, there we go. And check the other side real quick and just smooth that out. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and get in, think about the best way here. You can try this. Get at least one and maybe the last one of that out of this one. All right. There we go. And holding that flat. There we go. I'm going to use this tool. Dip a little water. Cut along there. All right. There we go. And I'm going to lift that up off of there. Okay, all right, and now I think I can get my other one here, right there. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to make a backup, 
just in case, because anything can happen with clay. Anything at all. <laughs> all right, so sometimes it's nice to have a backup. Um, so if you have enough clay to make a backup of maybe the top or base or sides you always could, this is a lot of extra clay, okay? So we don't want to waste it. So I'll roll it up in a sphere here and put it off to the side, okay? And uh, I can use that for extra details. I probably don't even need all this clay for extra details. So I can put it back in the extra clay bag. We can re-wedge it and use it again later, right, for more slabs after we re-wedge we re it, pardon me. Okay, now I, I kind of made a fun design right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and get one more slab here with my handy dandy slab cutter that is for the teacher's use only. So I'll go grab that here in just a sec. All right, so now I got my handy dandy slab back and I'm gonna go ahead and just smooth it out a little bit and I'll get my last piece. So now I've got all my pieces ready for me. Okay, and got that off. Now I'm gonna go ahead, cut this one out as well. Okay. There we go. And there we go. And now I'm gonna save some of this slab for maybe making some of the wave things over here. So I'll just keep that off to the side for now. And now we're gonna start really scoring, well, cleaning up our slabs first. And then we're gonna start scoring and slipping. So I'm just dipping my finger in a little bit of water and just smoothing out the edges here, smoothing out the edges. Okay, I wanna take my time with my slabs. Just kind of smooth that up here, smooth that up there. All right. All right, and we can share. I don't have enough of our bean tools for every friend to use, but you guys can share those at a table. There we go. So I've got that one cleaned up. Too much water and it will kind of stick so I don't want to add too much water. You can dip two fingers in the water, kind of like that, and go along the edges. Just smooth them out. Okay, I can also take my sponge as well and kind of smooth them out. Our sponges are by the sink. You're gonna make sure you wash them all out of clay before you put them back in the sink, right? Because sometimes we use them for other things. And we did talk about how these can transfer, the marker can transfer onto the clay. My marker wasn't super juicy, so we'll see how well it transfers onto the clay. We'll find out. Mm, not too shabby, not too shabby. I didn't rub as much there, but it till, still came in pretty good. All right, so that's kind of nice. I have my design on there ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the rest of my slabs here. And then I'll transfer that top marker, the one on this one here, and we'll catch you guys in just a sec. So now I have all my slabs made here. Now you'll notice with my marker, especially because it wasn't super juicy, that here's, you know, the first one I did, Here's the second one I did. <laughs> this is the third one I did, right? This one's pretty light. I might need to just, um, um, once this dries out, I could add a little marker again or make another one to put, make that a little clearer down there because it might be hard to see. And I wanna work smarter and not harder, okay? So now I'm gonna show that on the last one here. Notice when I'm holding my slabs, I'm doing so really carefully. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just um, start getting my next the lid ready and go ahead and transfer this on here. So I'm gonna flip it over. There we go. And just give it a nice back rub. And I'll have had, gotten all my slabs ready. Okay, let's, let's peel to reveal here. All right. Looking cool, looking cool. Put that off to the side. I'll still keep it in my bag just in case I need it. And that's probably what we'll get done today, just because it takes a while to smooth the slabs, get everything ready. And I am still gonna save this slab as well, but I'm just gonna cut it into some smaller strips 
especially because I want to do some wave type designs with it. Maybe even make some type of, I don't know, fun handle shape with it. We shall see. Not like that, probably. Probably a little different, but we'll find out. Remember, clay has a memory, so it kind of will remember that I did that. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab a bag and make sure to put my name and class code on it. So just a sec. I'll go grab that. All right. If someone else's name is on it, please make sure you cross that off and put yours, but I'm going to put my name and class code 5D, okay? And so now... I'm going to carefully put my slabs back in for another day. All right, even though it's a bag, you're going to want to hold this flat like a pizza. And so I'm going to carefully slide that in. I'm going to be very careful as I put it in. I'm not going to stack them on top of each other. No, don't be doing that, okay? Because then they are going to stick to each other, and then you're going to be all sad, and then you have to redo it again. So don't be doing that. What was that? Yeah, don't stack them on top of each other. Stack them next to each other. You each get your own bag. So you're not going to have to be sharing with anyone. Okay, so if you need another bag, like if they don't all fit flat in there, come check with me and we can get you another bag. Don't try and stack them on top of each other. Don't do it. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to lay these flat in here, my extra slabs, and get this part in like that. Get this part in like that. And I think I can fit one more maybe carefully. Now that my extra slabs, I'm not too picky about if I stack them on top of each other, but I think I can fit them in without doing so. I'm not, like these can bend because I will be bending them. All right, let's scooch you over a little. Just wanna make sure my box slabs don't bend. Okay, now I can carefully close up my bag. And there we go. Okay, now if you had two bags, you'd want to carefully close up both bags. And now, I forgot to put these in it, okay? Now your marker might bleed through to whatever you put it on. So I'm just going to kind of put them face up to try and avoid that. It still might do it a little bit, especially if you had a juicy marker and you didn't do any transfers yet. You didn't rub it on yet. But I'm not putting them on top of my other slabs because then they could all kind of run together. Okay. There we go. Now this is the important part. Don't hold it up like a bag or all your hard work has just been for naught, for nothing, for no reason at all. So don't be doing that. Okay, hold it flat like a pizza. Okay, make sure it's closed all the way. We don't want air getting in there overnight. Okay, I'm gonna hold it flat. Kinda got my arm on there. I'm gonna take it back to the clay cart and then tomorrow we'll get them out We'll start scoring and slipping and putting our bags together. All right, we'll catch you later. Bye, awesome artists. Oh, now any extra clay is going to go in the bag, all your clay tools in the sink, and you're going to sponge down your mats. All right, we'll catch you later. Bye.